Okay, so uh, feel the feelings exercise. Okay, I'd just like you just to be sitting down if you can uh, with your back straight and just become aware of what your experience is of yourself. And, or let's start this slightly differently. I'm gonna hold up um, my mobile phone here. Um, and when you see this mobile phone, or if you see an object, any object in your room, you'll notice that as you're observing, whether it's a mug or a cup or a lamp, that um, as there's observing of the lamp, there'll be clear recognition that you are not the lamp or the table, whatever it is. So just to get a bearing on that, you'll see that uh, you get your spiritual experience that a lamp or a, or a table is not you. There is a clear experience that the observer of a table or a lamp or an observer of an object is not the object. Okay, so the next thing is um, one of the biggest addictions is the addiction to thoughts. So uh, thoughts, uh, thoughts pass by and uh, what you realize is that thoughts are like objects they're like clouds in the sky there's a thought you know the you know there can be a thought uh, like a, a thought of the future or a thought about your day or whatever it is and then there's another thought that comes along and then another thought so they're little objects that pass by in consciousness but if they're passing by if they're limited passing transient objects, just like clouds in the sky, just like a table, um, then there is an observer of these thoughts. So see, um, see with your own experience, don't mentalize this, but is there in your experience an obser observation of the thoughts? And if there is, and then if you can get this experience of being the observer of thoughts, then uh, then see if there is, and that observer of the thoughts is interested in the thoughts, see if there is an observer or a detached witnesser of that observer, which is interested in thoughts. And if this, uh, and in this observing or this witnessing, in this witnessing, is there any, um, is there any experience of thoughts? And if this observer has any experience or is hooking into or identifying any thoughts, is there an observer of that observer? And if you carry on with this exercise and you get the clear experience of a space opening up between the observer and the thoughts, then you're doing the exercise right. And if you keep going, and if you can get to the detached, the completely detached observer, which has no interest in thoughts, you'll get into the thoughtless observer. And as you keep practicing uh, this experience, you'll realize that um, when you get to an observer which has no interest in the object or the passing objects, the objects disappear. So this is a, an aspect of consciousness that the only things that are registered in consciousness are those objects which have meaning to the limited ego. And when the limited ego surrenders its identification, its hooks, its interest, the projected value it gives to a table or to thoughts, they disappear as if they're too meaningless uh, to register in consciousness. And one is experiencing now a more lim limited state, limitless state of witnessing. So if you go back into your head and start thinking, detach and just go back into the witnesser, uh, one of the most uh, addictive things is if you have a special thought. If you hook into, if suddenly there's meaningless thoughts, it's quite easy to be the detached witnesser. But if suddenly there's a interesting thought, then suddenly you realize you're back in your head. And that's the only, that, the reason is because that thought still has meaning. But immediately that you hook into a thought, detach and go back into that detached observing. The next major addiction is the addiction to the body. So as you're just sitting, is there any experience of your body? Are you, is there an awareness of body? Are you feeling any sensations in the body? If there's an awareness of the body or if there's any strong sensations in the body, in the head, in the abdomen, wherever they may be, then recognize that these are objects. 
So if you're aware of the limits of your body, that's an object which can be observed, just like a table can be observed. If there's a strong sensation, for example, uh, in your stomach, you can also be the observing of that sensation in the stomach. So as you become the observing of these uh, sensations, then you, uh, then if you can be the attached observing, these sensations will start to dissipate. And if you can be the, um, the in the observing of that observer, then you might find these sensations start to disappear. If you hook back in to the body, just go back, detach, and go back to the detached observer. So as you practice this, you'll start to experience states of thoughtless witnessing, and you start to experience uh, bodiless witnessing as you let go of the hooks into your thoughts and your body. Is there also another, um, another uh, you could say, limited form that uh, the ego hooks into is time. The ego has unconsciously learned to, to register and track time. So if there's any sense of time now, can you be that which is witnessing, the witnesser of time, or the uninterested witnesser of time? So just let go of any sort of need to be hooking into or any kind of registering of time and see if you can be the, the witnessing of time, where, which is timeless. Also, if there's a sense of location, uh, see if you can be the witnesser of location. Whatever your experience is, whether it be a body, thoughts, sensations in the body, time, location, whatever you're experiencing, which is creating a sense of limitation, it's an object. And you can be the witnessing of the object and you can be the detached witnesser of the object. And as you do this, you start to experience sp the spiritual awakening of your limitless self, which is free of body, uh, free of thoughts, free of time, uh, free of any sense of form. Another thing is if you're experiencing anything which is passing, there is an observer or witnesser of things which pass, which does not pass. So what is the observer of sensations that or things or objects that pass? And as you recognize that for something to pass before you, the witnesser is not passing, it observes it pass, but the, the ever-present witnesser is always here. So now uh, let's just spend uh, a minute or so and just with your own uh, awareness, whatever you're experiencing, see if you can be the witnesser. And just let's have a few seconds of uh, detached witnessing to see if we can go into deeper states of, of presence and witnessing. <clears throat> 